All right. Thanks. Thanks for joining uh, today's session. Uh, my name is Alex, Alex Kim from IBM Research, and let me just swap the display. There you go. And I'm I'm here with um, my colleague and partner of crime, Fernando Sangari from um, uh, Kindro. He's in Argentina, and he's here with me on the WebEx. And for those in the virtual sessions. Uh, you can ask questions to him and us, and, and our moderator will help to answer those questions. So today's session is about uh, Project Zebra. Uh, as you probably all know, Zoe is one of the largest open source projects for open mainframe projects. And under Zoe, we have uh, several other uh, incubation projects, such as Zoe Chat and Zebra, IntelliJ plugin, we used to have other incubation projects such as um, uh, uh, mobile Zoe, Zoe Mobile. And, and as we grow the community, I think there are a huge opportunity to either join incubation or may join the main uh, Zoe core or you know, any other project that you think that it will be helpful to grow the, the function of Zoe. You can always start uh, a community by proposing ideas and then you know help help other team members or community help. So I'm going to go over uh, some overview on Zebra, what it is, what it is, how it works, and also Fernando is going to show you the real use case of Zebra that he does work on a Kindle uh, production systems. So Zoe started uh, as a open mainframe project mentorship. Uh, project in 2020 when we had a pandemic just started and I had a great pleasure working with a mentee from uh, Nigeria Salisa Lee he is still in medical school a uh, six-year program uh, and he was brilliant he was uh, one of those regional master domain frame winner and uh, Salisu spent like three months with me to do a proof of concept of this Zebra project. At the time, different name. But the idea is that um, there are so many uh, tools to analyze and understand RMF and SMF. For those of you who, who don't know what RMF is, you can think of it as uh, system data that mainframe generates from every minute to like, five, 10 years, right? So every mainframe shop rely on this RMF records called resource monitoring facility that machine generates that how the CPU being used, how the workload is running, and how you can actually configure the mainframe to get the most juice out of this mainframe because it, it, it's not cheap, right? It's not a PC, it's not an x86 server. You spend almost millions of dollars to this infrastructure. You want to get last drip out of the juice from this computer. And RMF and also SMF is the key to those activities. So having RMF analyze and understand how the system is working is key to many of the enterprise customers' tasks. There's always someone who understands RMF in the organization. And there's always someone who plans for capacity in the organization so that you can use the server in the right way. So what I have in uh, this slide is that how we come up with the idea of making people use RMF more easier. So we, we thought that having uh, RMF data in a JSON format, which is JavaScript you know, object notation, that a lot of other open source software use today. It's almost like, a, uh, I don't know the real rank, but in my mind, it's like a number one data format that you, know, you can exchange with many other open source software, right? Uh, next to the maybe XML or any other uh, uh, markup languages and, or markdown. <laughs> and we have RMF1 and RMF3 data coming from uh, ZOS GPM serve, which is served by another web interface called DDS. And 
they generate the XML format of the RMAP data, and we simply convert it into JSON format, and, and we create an API routine to translate it, and then uh, provide the control of those APIs. In a simple way, in down here, you see the uh, get request. You simply run uh, Zebra as a server, or even in your laptop, and then you can request the alpha name, and the RMF report type, and it will return a very simple way to understand and, and, and see sample request here, like this. And you can know uh, that this is more likely human readable, right? This is parameter, and this is the value, right? There are multiple tables that, that you can understand, uh, and also it can fit into a, a, a computer program, sorry. I'm, I'm, using dual screen and didn't show up as I wish it. Um, just stop and there you go. All right, there you go. So um, I, I was saying that this is the JSON format and this is how Jivra uh, API works. You can go back and let me try it. And this is a demo system. You can actually try it yourself going to zebra.talktothemainframe.com, and you can try it yourself in real time. This is the demo, demo system provided by Bicom Infinity. We are opening to anyone. You don't need to register anything, but you can try it, this API right away. And by using uh, other softwares like uh, Grafana or uh, MongoDB or you know any other integration you want to do with your, your own software or your, your other software you have, you can use this format to feed the data. And one, one good example of this uh, use, using of this data is Grafana. We feed this into Prometheus uh, time series database, and then you configure uh, those Prometheus database to consume uh, this data. So I don't have that many great panels uh, like uh, Fernando has that we're going to show you shortly, but this is how you know it works. You can create custom panels, and then you can zoom in to zoom out the real-time data that I collected over seven days, for example, right? And then you can use it as uh, like you know how to see your performance, uh, see what performance is happening, and machine is working. But it's just one of those examples that how you can use Zebra and. Um, I was thinking last night, uh, I mentioned about another Zoe incubator project, Zoe Chat. You can even feed into Zoe Chat. You might thought that then maybe you can ask questions about you know, how the mainframe is doing, right? So maybe one other way to explore the options to use API, right? So that's what Zoe Zebra incubation project is about. Uh, I just want to couple quickly about why we did that before we go into the demo. Um, so why IRMF? I, I mentioned that Zero's performance is important, but at the same time, there are not many people like any other mainframe resources that we are having you know, uh, some challenges with. Performance experts are very hard to find these days. And there are many experts out there today that work on tooling and you know an enterprise you know customers, but it's very hard to find you know the community to grow the skill set, and it takes a long time to learn too. You have to know systems in and out. You have to know the all the stacks that that you manage as a system programmer. Kind of uh, understand you know why this service level didn't meet and how to ma maneuver those parameters to meet the goals, right? So, and, and there was no open forum in the online space uh, that we can freely discuss, and not just the topic of RMF or performance, but also uh, the common tool set that anyone can use. So there was no open source version of uh, RMF tooling out there. So that was the one reason. And why JSON? Like I said, because it has mostly widely used format, uh, and then human can read it, and uh, many other open source use it, like MongoDB use JSON format too. 
uh, that's why we chose to use JSON as a representing our map data. And why open source? And of course, everybody know, here knows about synergy that open source can bring in and creativity by opening up. Uh, for example, Fernando here, <laughs> I'm not an you know, um, uh, expert on Grafana. Fernando took Zebra and he made it, it something else. You will see the demo that he created. It's amazing that it, it, it is something that the, even, you know, creator of the open source doesn't even know what it can do sometimes, right? You just start a small thing and people take it and make it something else. And then that's the power of open source and sustainability. Even if someone who started the project leaves or changes a job, it's out there in the Git, right? And people can join. You can grow the community. It can be, you know, more sustainable than someone who holds the closed source version of the tool. Even if this tool is good, if there's a, no maintainer, hey, <laughs> good luck with that. So uh, it can be started very easy. And then communi community like Linux Foundation, Open Main Pro Project, it helps. Uh, we have a great help from John Winchester back there and also Bruce Armstrong uh, and Domenico from IBM team, uh, promoting and Viacom Infinity, uh, of, of course, they support the infrastructure and resources to develop. We have great community support to strongly go on and influence others to join the team and make use of it. So that's why we chose to be open source. So that was my part uh, of introduction. And you can try yourself on this demo. Uh, on Zebra to talk to the mainframe.com. And there's a GitHub under Zoe slash Zebra that you can see and you can join the meetings and you can ask questions. If you need access to the Grafana demo uh, that we are, Fernando and us are working on putting more uh, meaningful examples out there so that you can try for your enterprise or your, your own you know, experiment. So. Um, without further ado, let me switch over to the demo. Uh, Fernando is online here. Fernando? Hi, how are you? All right, so you all on screen, so you want to say a couple of words? Well, I am a former Eastern programmer, and now uh, I'm involved in mainframe transformation projects. And I work a lot with Grafana and Savage, but when Alex, Alice, and Justin uh, showed me the, the potential of this tool, I quickly installed it, and really it has a lot of benefits that I will explain. Thank you. Thanks, Fernando. So, okay. uh, the uh, because we wanted to make sure that demo goes well, we kind of, you know, created this demo in, um, demo in the video. Sorry. I'm trying to find the demo. Oh, you'll see that. One of the problems with that that I still have figured out. Hi, my name is Fernando Sangari, and I will speak about using Zebra and real production installations. We actually have running this solution in three installations and are planning to go for a fourth. Zebra is a good solution that opens the mainframe world to the world of observability with easy and quick start. The solution consists of four basic elements, set RMF, Zebra, Prometheus, Grafana. In the assembly of the solution, it must be taken into account that each component has a fundamental role. Set RMF provides all the information, but a good report class strategy opens the possibility to various reporting and capacity planning analysis. Zebra is central to the solution and the metrics to be collected. Here you must find a correct strategy to avoid duplicate information, essentially physical, 
and align with future uses like alarmization, monitoring, and capacity planning. Prometheus is a TSDB information repository with its own query language from QN. Information can be exploited in many ways like stories, history stats and or analytics. And finally, Grafana, where all the above looks beautiful with multiple views that allow you to identify normal and disruptive the behaviors that would otherwise have been more difficult to see from the mainframe platform. Well, as we have built uh, our installation of the solution, we have established many views to follow the system performance based in the following views. Evolution, instant, every process, transaction, and metrics available. It is a glossary of the parameter metrics. All of them will be about in detail. Let's begin with evolution. This view is oriented to see the evolution of metrics like MCUs and physical processor use in desired period of time. We can also see workload utilization from the fine service class, classes, as we see in the bottom of, the, of this dashboard. All graphs are individual and stacked, so you can see each and the sum of all. You have quick visualization of behavior and disruption of them is high level oriented to physical equipment, helpers, and service classes. It helps to visualize proximity to, cons to consumption limits, group limit, or physical limit. Facilitate to understand the typical day and look for alternatives to balance the use of equipment. For example, if we choose one week, we can see the behavior day by day you must make another dashboard more extend to see in detail, but you can, you can do it. Besides, you can select a range of time and exploit that, that window time to see in detail what happened in that moment. If we are looking for any particular interval, you can select the range and immediately adjust the window to all the dashboards, so it's very nice to find a correlation between the behavior of the LPAR and service classes. The presentation of mean or max value is configurable and you can choose the value that you want, mean, max, and a lot of value that you have to select from, in, include a desviation standard or statistical values. Well, now we will go to instant view. In the instant view, what we have is this moment view of the of one helper. Imagine that you can consolidate in one dashboard TRM3 metrics of one helper or the same of different helpers. There are a lot of instant metrics available at helper and sysplex level. 470 metrics. You can present them in the best way to fit your needs. The metrics that you see is only a reduced sample of the metrics available. You can establish frequency value, alarmize with colors according to the installation criteria, and even alert them with Grafana notification facilities. You have the possibility to quickly select a leopard to view and see the current status without entering the mainframe. For example, we can choose here another helper, and you can see how all the values change according to it. It's very powerful to change the, to see the, um, the, the behavior of each helper without entering to each, to each mainframe. Using Grafana Palant, you can choose the best way of visualization according to the type of metric to be monitored. These are all direct access from Grafana to Zebra to mainframe, 
really near real time, no Prometheus in the middle. Here is only a sample of all the metrics that you have. Delay, WLM, service start period, behave um, helper. Well, now we will go, we will go to every view. We can go from here or we can go from the main menu. The every view has the same potential like the um, instant view, but with the possibility to drill down, for example, jobs, channel use. In this case, for example, we see this helper, we have this behavior, and here we have a detail of the consume of these address spaces. We can go here and drill down to see the behavior all, all this, well, this job end here, for example, at chess, it will have this behavior and so on. This has address space delay reason, like in RMF, you see it. The jobs more consumption. You can select one. Grafana allows us to select one and see the consumption of one job, another. Two, and you can order by average, by current. The same for channels. You can see the channels that are more more used, and see the 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 cure of the consume. The same for WLM. And CPC, we have seen it in evolution. Well, now we will go to to process. In this view, first we have a look at service class performance. We can select one service classes, or two, or all. Then we have a more address space oriented dashboard by type of workload, then a more job oriented dashboard. This dashboard is oriented to support software address space monitoring for installation application with address space grouping that makes sense to the process owner is key to detect behaviors and define action speak applicable. We have six grouping by app. We have DB2 grouping and so on. Jobs that are hit in the interval we have selected. and jobs that are uh, hit now. The next view is transaction. In this dashboard, we see nothing. Why? Because this installation has no report classes defined. In another installation with appropriate report classes, we have transaction rate, response time, and correlation between them. The importance of transactions is that it's key to understanding the activity of business process. Here is key to have defined a good structure of report classes aligned with the process. The possibility of being able to compare current activity levels with the same moments in the past allow us to identify devi deviations in behaviors. Clients really value this type of dashboard because if the current report classes are in place, there is a possibility to see organizations process activity. And the last view is set RMF. Here we have an enormous potential of metrics available. 
in the left side, we have the RMF instant metrics. As you have seen, we have 478 metrics that you can choose to build a instant dashboard of RMF metrics. And in the left, in the right side, we have 266 metrics that you have that you can record on Prometheus with the possibility to have an evolution view. If we select the metrics, for example, MCU or transaction, we will find we will find the metrics available. For example, if we put here MCU, we can see actual and consumer MCUs, defined capacity. This is an evolution view. And in this side, we can do the same, and we see the instant view of MCU metric. We can do the same for transaction, for example, and the same in, the, in this side. So you can see that the, the, the possibility of metrics is enormous. Well, finally, key facts. We have evolved from different uses and requirements. You must define a minimum core of metrics and manage the exemption like that. These implementations facilitate the decision to know high qualified set people. Real good value is in joining this set and observability worlds. It's very important to have a well-defined WLM report classes environment, facilitate the post-elaboration of metrics and potential uses. With the use, you find new ways of presenting information more simple and intuitive. Each new, each new challenge and requirement is a step to a better solution. We adopt the evolution instant hybrid process and transaction of a observability model, but it is an election and you can choose the best for you. What is to come? We are testing to monitoring the SMS storage group devolution. This is a feature that can be activated in RMF 3. We have tested successfully, but you have to take account of performance. Write it only one helper. Availability calculation. You can do correlation analysis for capacity planning purposes with easy time alineation. Job milestone use, limit, limited, but in some cases may be useful. And finally, my last words are thanks to Zebra development team, Salisu, Justin, and Alex for the very smart solution developed and generally available through the Open Sense Source Initiative. Well, that's all and open to questions. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And any questions? I know we are top of the hour, but uh, any questions from the audience here? All right. Th thank you. Thank you. And um, Fernando, thank you for staying with us. Yes. Okay. And um, as, as I mentioned, you can try yourself. And if you have any questions, come to this github.com slash joey slash zebra for any questions. And love to work with you. Thank you. Thanks for coming.